All right, so you have your mesh. The only thing you need to do is you need to make it face blenders forward, which a lot of people don't know is the positive y direction. Side to side is x and top is z. So rate, rotate that, uh, apply the transform to make sure these values are all zero. Control A, all transforms. And then we just go up to export, FBX. Pay attention to this. The only thing you need to change here is forward is Z forward. FBX unit scale, selected objects. I've selected the monkey, apply transform, don't bake animation. So again, facing the forward Y with the positive Z being the top vector. Sometimes it comes in with a rotation set, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Now you can see that it's facing the proper way in Unity, which is has the Z vector canonically being forward and the Y vector being up. And that's it. If you want, you can even make it face forward in X. So that's kind of the basics. That's the quick and dirty version. Now I'm gonna explain a little bit of what's really happening. Uh, so Blender and Unity have two main differences in their coordinate axes. One is that um, I believe Blender uses a right-hand axis and Unity uses a left-hand axis. That doesn't even matter. The, the quick and dirty way to explain that is Blender, if you orient the Z and the Y in the same way, the X faces this way, and in Unity, it's coming out that way. Um, and you can see this in the image of the video. Uh, let me see if I can even, so I can kind of rotate it to match and you'll see what I mean. So, okay. Right. So you can, okay. Hold on, it's not, it doesn't match up quite yet there we go so you can see i've kind of coordinated the y and z axes to uh be the same way in blender and unity you can and so the z is kind of coming towards the screen y is pointing up and x is pointing to the right and you can see here x is pointing to the left even though the y and z are roughly the same yep um so that's one difference the other difference is they have canonically different uh, up and forward vectors. And how do you know which vector is canonically up? Well, that's easy. You can see no matter how I spin my view here, the Z axis will always stay on a straight vertical line here. No matter, even though Y and X kind of go everywhere, Z is always on a line and Y and X are moving in two dimensions. So that's straightforward. Uh, same thing in Unity. No matter how I rotate, rotate my view, X and Z are moving two dimensions while Y is staying on that same vertical line. So it's canonically up. Um, everyone pretty much knows, and you, the next thing is X and Z, which is forward. It could be both X or Z. Everyone kind of knows in Unity, it's Z, because if you do vector three dot forward, you're gonna get zero, zero, one. So that's easy. A lot of people don't know that in Blender, the Y is the forward. So, why does that matter? When you export it, this is very poorly documented, but when it asks for these forward and up, this is saying in your target orientation system, in which is Unity in our case, it's asking for in Unity, what's Unity's forward axis? And we know Unity's forward axis is Z. And now it's saying, what's Unity's up axis? And we know Unity's axis is Y up but it's not enough to know what Unity's forward and up is. We need to know what the heck this is referring to in Blender. So again, Y in Blender is pretty easy, it's Z. That's kind of obvious. But if you mess this up, what the forward axis is in Blender, that's where you can get screwed up. And like I said, it's positive Y, which is why I have positive Y here. So let's say you thought it was X. If you spun it around so it was facing the positive X and apply transform. And then you were to export it. 
you would probably get a 90 degree rotation in the z dimension in unity. Okay, so in that case, yeah, you did. So in that case, it's just pointing forward in the x again. But this is probably not what you want because now this model is not facing forward at zero degrees rotation. So if you apply any vector three dot forward here, you're gonna get it moving towards its ear. Um, however, you could kind of fix this. You could kind of trick it. If you tell it that its forward axis is x forward, so you're kind of like accounting for your mistake in a way, now it corrects itself again because it incorrectly thinks it's x forward and because you were, you're making, it's like a, the two negatives cancel each other out. But again, uh, best practice, easiest thing to do, make sure you treat you, the y axis as forward, um, z axis is up in Blender. And when you export, simply do x forward for forward, y up for up, and you will what the heck happened here? Right, Z forward. Did I mix myself up? Whatever. So Z forward for unity, uh, Y up for also for unity, and then this forward again refers to the positive y axis in Blender, and this up refers to the positive z axis in Blender. And yeah, so this is usually what you're looking for in Unity, if this is what you're starting from in Blender. So it makes a lot of assumptions on what you know. Now, uh, let's say you get like frustrated and you can't come up with the right rotation. There's a workaround. And I'll just explain the workaround uh, real quick. Let's say you completely like mess it up and you do something like this and everything. And you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to, I just want it to work and I don't want to have to worry about stupid rotations. Um, there's a way to fix it. So you can see that now the Z forward is messed up. However, you can simply add an empty, uh, you call it like rotation fix, rot fix throw a monkey in rod fix. And now simply all you have to do is you apply a fixer direction to rod fix. And sorry, you apply a fixer rotation to monkey. And now you can see on rod fix, it looks as if it's correctly oriented. Because uh, you kind of just applied a trans uh, a rotation to the child. But as long as you apply all your vector math to rotation fix, because this is always going to be oriented the correct way because it's just an empty, so it's going to align with Unity's axis system out of the box, it'll work. And this is kind of like a band-aid fix if you don't want to worry about all that other stuff. So to recap, um, whenever you're rotating, whenever you're exporting out of Blender, if you just follow the conventions of y being forward, uh, z being up, and then you just apply z forward, y up here, make sure apply transform is selected. When it comes into unity, oh yeah, so, sometimes it, I don't know why it does this, it'll like have 90 here, but if you zero these out, it'll be, uh, it should be pretty close. Oh yeah, I applied it earlier. Right. It'll be pretty close to what you're looking for. Uh, so I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you next time.